everyone. My name is Harshil and I welcome you all in this second part of Programming Concepts with C Sharp. Before starting this video, I want to inform you that if you still have not watched our previous video, please go and understand whatever the concept I teach you in the last video. Uh, it was about basic structure and syntax. It is based for this video. So please go and check it. And if you have some knowledge about structure and syntax, uh, let's continue this video. So in today's video, I am going to share some no some knowledge about uh, uh, commands, uh, data types, variables, and keywords. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. So uh, I have start my Visual Studio to explain you in a better way. Uh, so uh, this is the program that we have created la in last video. All right. So as you all know, this is the basic structure of our console application, which is a library namespace class and a main method, which is our uh, starting point of program all right so our first topic is comments so uh, to explain it in a practical way I want to give you an example that uh, for example let's consider this is a project that uh, I have made and I want to put my name on the top of this project because I have created this project. So let's write my name. All right, I have written my name, but uh, uh, you can see a red underline. It means uh, it is giving or there is some error on this line. It is line, uh, you can see line number two. All right. So let me run this program. All right, as you can see, there is an error. I can't run my program because uh, this is not proper way to write a program. So what I can do to write my name without affecting my program, I can put my name inside a comment. So this is double slash is a symbol of uh, single line commands. There are two types of commands. First is single line and second one is multiple line. So mul uh, the symbol of multiple line is says, uh, slash star star and slash. All right. So whichever statement or whatever you want to command, you just need to put that line inside this uh, starting point and ending point all right in between those two symbols you need to write something for example develop with Herschel all right I have put it inside a multiple line command I can even put this inside a single line command as well so because it is you know in just one line all right so if you want to put something uh, or uh, want to put one line of code inside a command you can do this but uh, what if i want to uh, put my whole code inside a command means this whole code I want to put the whole program inside a command then I can use multiple line command for example like this all right uh, but right now we are removing it because we need that code to explain next things so what is comment uh, what the comment is used for uh, so comment is used for 
explaining the code mostly uh, for example uh, let's consider this program again so i have created this program all right and i have some teammates who gonna update this code so but they don't know uh, why we have created this code and what is the purpose of this line all right they don't know about it just consider that all right so i can put in multiple line that uh, this code is written for displaying hello world on screen all right so as you can see i have used multiple line to explain why i have created this program now my teammate don't know why i have written this uh, this line of code what is the purpose of this line so i can explain it here that uh, uh, to this display hello world on screen all right so now my teammates will understand that this program is written for displaying hello world and this line of code is displaying the displaying the hello world all right so this this was it for comments if you have any questions let me know in the comment section or we can move on the next topic all right so let's move to the next topic which is data type so uh, what is data type and why we need to use it so data type is used to store some data inside our memory so it allocate our it allocate some of the memory for our data and uh, with connected to it i want to include variables as well with this topic and variable is nothing but just a name of that memory allocation that we have done for our values with the data type all right means data type is a memory allocation for our uh, data and that allocation is named by our variable all right uh, let me give you the example first let's see the chart of that data types as you can see on a screen right now so the first thing is uh, boolean the type you can see the type column uh, there are uh, in the type column you can see all the data types all right like bool character means c h a r care decimal double float integer long short then on the next column you can see represents then range and then default values all right uh, you can take a screenshot of this right now by pausing this video all right so and if you don't want then it's okay for that but uh, this is the data types first is boolean which is rep which represents a boolean value which is true or false its default value is false all right true or false nothing else you can't store anything else inside boolean type of variables all right then i am going to talk about care care is a character you can say six, it stores 16 bits of characters unique code characters uh, you can store 
any any of the character inside it for example the first character of your name or a special symbols like hashtag or dollar sign anything you want but you can't store the whole uh, line of uh, sentence you can't store the whole sentence inside the character all right then you can uh, store floating point like uh, 10.5 5.5 the those kind of data inside decimal num uh, double or float types of variable there are three type uh, three data types that uh, allows this kind of data to store which is decimal double and float these three now a numeric number uh, which is uh, uh, you can say the natural number like 1 to 100 and 1 to unlimited all right so those kind of data can be stored inside integer long and short most important thing is range you should take care of the range because you can't go outside of that range as you can see in a short that uh, it allows minus 32 thousand seven hundred and sixty eight to thirty two thousand seven hundred and sixty seven all right so in this range you can store any value from this range but you can't go outside of that range if you want to store uh, more than that numbers you can use integer and long all right so this is how data types work all right so let's take uh, examples let's uh, understand by the examples so for the first thing I want to show is bull which is boolean bull uh, b equal to it its default value is false all right so if I write like this it's called the definition means a variable declaration so if I uh, write nothing over here then it will define as p equals to false all right if i want to declare it like this i want its uh, default value as true i can define it like this all right it's called initialization if i don't write this it's called definition and like this called initialization all right so it was about bool boolean values then character chr care c equal to character h all right you can uh, write 0 or uh, 1 as well as dollar sign or at the red sign inside that all right you can do that but just one character you can store the whole uh, sentence like hello world inside it for that you need a string variable string s equal to hello world be careful for the uh, syntax string needs double quotes all right and character needs single quote all right be careful about that then uh, floating point okay for the floating point I want to uh, share something that uh, different I want to share difference between double T and floating F all right float f equal to 10.5 so there is a little difference between this double and float in initialization that uh, as you can see an error that you need suffix f in floating point 
So if you want to initialize floating point f then in float variable then you need to uh, put a suffix f after the value all right but double don't don't need that be careful about that now integer integer i equal to 100 you can store anything 1000 500 anything 1000 10000 all right but don't go outside of its range you need to know its its range what is the range of the integer value all right be careful and be take uh, and take care of it so it was the data types and the variables so if i now say that uh, 1000 is our data integer is our memory allocation and i is the name of our memory allocation for example <coughs> there is a place uh, called i and the value inside that i is 1000 10,000 all right if you have any questions or queries let me know in the comment section I will try to uh, give you uh, the answer as soon as possible all right so keep asking question if you have any doubts and the most important thing about these variables I want to uh said that uh, uh shishab is a case sensitive language so if you write uh, integer index and you have write i capital inside index then you can't use small i inside index if you want to use index all right i can't use index over here all right as you can see i can't use it if i write like integer index then i can use it but for that static is important I will uh, use a detailed information about this static keyword in maybe in future videos but uh, till then uh, remember that if you are gonna use uh, your data or your variable or anything you are gonna use it in static void main then you have to Put static keyword before data type all right if you want to use uh, your method like uh, void method inside the main static main wait a second all right method All right, you can't use it without static keyword before it. So static. All right, now I can use it. So be careful. Uh, remember that static keyword is important if you're gonna use any of your data inside static void main. All right. now some few points i want to mention over here about variables first point is life time uh, life of variables so what is the life of variable which i have declared over here the life of variable b is till the class ends all right this program class ends like from here i can't use this variable outside of this class all right if i declare this 
integer index 10 I'm going to write it over here all right I'm going to I have declared uh, initialized or declared this variable inside main method that's why I can't use it over here on any of the other methods like uh, void method anything you, you want to call okay index as you can see uh, it is giving me the suggestion of this index but not this index all right let's change the name for your comfortable uh, count all right let's call it count integer count and you can see suggestion it's const it is a keyword const const it is for constant we will learn about it later but you can't use this over here let's copy it and paste it all right as you can see it is giving me error but yes i can give it the same name if i initialize or declare it over here again then i can use it all right so this was the first point i want to mention in extras and the second is accessibility accessibility is as same as i said before <clears throat> accessible you can't access this variable outside of this block all right this is called blocked block and you can't access it outside this block and the life of this variable is till the main method ends you means you can use anywhere all right if the main method ends then it means this uh, memory allocation will automatically will be erased all right you can't find this memory allocation again and accessibility means you can't access this outside of this block if i write uh, this is also a block you can write this block as well uh, i can boolean is active equals to true all right and now i want to use that is active you can see this is the block and i have used a variable inside i have declared a new variable is active inside that block and i can't use it after the blocks end all right so remember these things it is important to know because a uh, so few of my friends have made a mistake on that i have seen that and they were confused where to solve their problems now let's talk about one more topic which is keyword you can see on screen key the table of keywords these are the keywords that you can't use as a name of your methods your class your uh, variables you can't use any of these as those things all right let's say i want to declare a variable called if as a boolean value all right uh, so bool if i can't use it all right because it is a keyword you see that if is a keyword that's why i can't use it but yes as it is a case sensitive i can write like this oh, sorry false all right i can use like this see if i write capital i in if then i can use this as a variable all right but don't do that because you will get confused all right so that's it for today guys be careful about those things that i i told you to remember all right that's it for today.
if you have any queries or questions please let me know in the comment section i will try my best to give you answers as soon as possible thanks for watching